Sorry we keep getting kicked off, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but hopefully we fixed it now. Yeah. What's up? It's probably the internet. Is it the internet, you think? Um, so yeah, as you were saying about Sweat Lodge? Yeah, I just, oh yeah. I, did you mention the sage water yet? No, I didn't. Because I wasn't okay. there for that. I passed out. Okay, so um, after Andrew left, there was this big bucket of water that was full of sage. Um, and we had this little bowl. Actually, sh I should wait till people log on to start talking about it. Right. Oh, okay. We are back. Doesn't, Sorry about that, Ashley. Viewers, but I guess people are just in here. Oh, okay. All right. So um, anyways, in the sweat lodge, when Andrew left, there was this big bucket of water that the um, leader had. And then there was like this little bamboo bowl, <laughs> wooden bowl, and he would fill up the water, um, or fill it up with water, and then he'd pass it around, and everybody like drank from the same bowl of sage water. So it, it sounds gross, but we were so hot, it did not matter. So there would be one that was passed around that we'd all drink from, and then there would be one that passed around that we'd just like pour on ourselves, um, just to cool us off a tiny bit. Thanks, Lisa. Um, yeah. So that, I think that's it with the sage right. water. OK. Yeah. All right. That was so about it. Now but I'll go. Obviously, it's very cleansing. <laughs> Sorry. So that was the <laughs> point of that. I'll, um, I'll talk about a little bit more on what shamanism is and elaborate oh, a little more. Well, we should finish like the whole sweat lodge experience. Oh, I like, thought you were done when you end. said that's it with this. No, when we were finally oh, done yeah, and going. we got yeah, out and everything. Yeah, keep going, keep doing your thing. Um, we just all enjoyed like an amazing feast together. Yeah. Yeah, and you just felt so close to every single one of the people that was in there with you. Because it, it is one of the most difficult experiences I've been through, I think, physically. I think still it's if, the most You know what? Actually, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Cambo, the frog medicine. Um, long story short, the frog medicine, you get a little burn on your body somewhere. And then this, there's this frog in the Amazon rainforest that produces this secretion on its back. And that secretion you would put in the burn and then that goes through your bloodstream and it is an awful 20 minutes. You get really hot, your, your heart is just pounding like crazy and then you throw up. You just get sick, you just like throw up all the things. Um, and you fast beforehand and then drink tons of water right before so you're mostly throwing up water. It is a, an amazing cleanse if you have any sort of illness. It is just, it is so good. Anyways, look into Cambo and let me know if you have any more questions on that. But anyways, that is a very difficult experience. Sweat Lodge, I'd say, was even more difficult than that. Like sweating in that heat was just way more difficult than like throwing up and going through the, the whole camp. If someone thing. ever has just... the opportunity to do Sweat Lodge, consider- Do it. If you have, consider it, but consider <laughs> if you have any heart conditions. Oh yeah, obviously. Any breathing be conditions, because breathing in there was nearly impossible. Actually, I have sports-induced asthma. Same here. But when when I say sports, it's not just like physical stuff, but like uh, allergies um, in atmosphere can also trigger it. So. <laughs> I know. Actually, that well, it's, it's I did want to mention here. that it feels like a sweat lodge in here right it's now because it's so hot. Tom, um, our um, director over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it but is, yeah. it's bad. <laughs> is there anything more on Sweat Lodge um, I don't know. I think that's, uh, that feast. is the cleanest I have ever felt in my life, though. Yeah. Um, in the feast, I think out, it was all right. vegetarian, vegan food, too. It was. Yeah, it was we didn't all eat any meat. Um, I mm -hmm. think they actually, like, uh, told us that it'd be best to eat clean and yeah. to be mostly vegetarian or vegan before mm -hmm. and after as well yep. which same with cambo actually too so yeah. it, the detox of it it's mm -hmm. just yeah it's so not only physically beneficial but the sweat lodge was just after mm -hmm. fasting amazing spiritual experience for that much well. so now i intermittently fast so i'm used to it but back then i didn't mm -hmm. i ate normally 
Um, oh yeah, we and, were not used to. Yeah, this at and all. at that feast, oh, I I ate so much. I ate a lot of food. Uh, so, <laughs> I um. That's a funny question. Well, not really. I six seven years ago. Seven years ago, watched a documentary, became vegan, and I stayed vegan for a while. And then I started eating eggs and cheese, and then I went back to vegan, and then I like did it completely wrong, and then I started eating chicken and fish. And now, now I'll eat chicken and fish here and there, but yeah. still mostly vegetarian. Before, I was a pescatarian, so I only the only meat I ever ate was from the sea. Um, but I... Um, <laughs> Super yeah, honestly, Gabby, yeah, that's, um, that's a Gabby. Yeah, that's. It was actually called "What the Health," and it is a very eye-opening documentary. And it honestly, it was saying that cheese is more addictive than heroin, I and I one hundred percent believe that, dude. Because because like, that that was the hardest thing for me. To I would give eat up. Cheese and I am so glad day. there's fake cheese out there. I will say, after going to Bali to Indonesia, that is the place to be vegan if you want to be vegan. <laughs> Let me tell you, yeah. I was vegan the whole time I was there, also intermittent fasting, also gluten-free, and I had never felt better. Yeah, Taylor. Yeah, I cheese know. is very addictive, and it, it's yeah. awful, but once cheese. you give it cheese. up well, completely, you know. like, after a few weeks, even actually really after, like, a few days or so of not having any dairy whatsoever or meat, your energy levels will, like, spike up, you will feel less inflamed, like you will have try to cut out bread skin. first though. oh bread. yeah bread Bread's is the a downfall thing. that was when i first went vegan that was i had so many of the replacement meats like i had so many so much gluten that it didn't help too much mm -hmm. um but then once i gave up gluten as well that is when i really if like let me tell you if you want to lose weight go gluten-free and vegan you will lose weight like that <laughs> Screw counting calories and yeah. having your like, you know, <laughs> chicken breast with your like this amount of veggies and this amount of rice and that's all you can have. No, go vegan, have a huge ass plate like this full of fruits and veggies and beans and rice. Eat as much beans, as of it as, of as it many as you legumes want. as possible. You're going to lose weight. If you I'm get as many legumes right as possible, you'll get the protein you need. Yes. And lentils. Yeah, lentils, and Sun nuts. Warrior protein powder. That is a great filler for anything. That's good. So I Anyways. Kind of, <laughs> I touched upon the life of poverty and the humility, self-discovery. Um, ah, let's go into journeying. journeying. Let's talk about shamanic journeys. So, so it, no. journeying is... <laughs> <laughs> when you think of a journey... It's very similar to meditation, but deeper. It's 20 times what a meditation is. It's... It's like astral it's projection It's being almost. there. It's being yes. there. So... You don't just like, you know, close your eyes and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, walk in this field and see this flower over here and the sun shining on me. Your meditation... No, nah, you get dragged around. Breaths. Nah, you will get freaking sent down this tunnel this drum going like oh, let me I, i'm gonna say like then, i'm gonna say how to like, like do all the going down this tunnel and then you get into your journey world uh, i'm gonna say how to do like okay whole, like, all right i'll let you so talk andrew with the um <laughs> with the with starting a shamanic journey um a shaman apprentice has to go through a few series of tests first they have to meditate for at least 15 minutes in silence and be able to meditate for that long, at least 15 minutes. Then the shaman apprentice has to be I able to astro yeah. The shaman apprentice has to be able to astral project. If you cannot astral project, then we're gonna have to retrieve your soul because it's gonna be wonky. It's gonna be going everywhere. Um, so we can't we can't do that. Um, and uh, there will be three tasks once we decide that you are ready. These three tasks in this tradition are finding a hole in the woods off the trail, way far from the trail, that you can't see the bottom of. Then you have to get, you remember the hole. You can't take a picture of it either. Remember it. 
So, for example, and, you know, you're deep in the woods, and this is not in your meditation. This is in, in physical, yep. real life. Go for a hike somewhere, whatever, and you see a hole in the ground, maybe Lisa, a hole of animal. Lisa, I will answer dog. that in a few minutes, <clears throat> just right after the journey, because it, it requires a shaman to go get your soul back for you. So it's a, it's a little tough. Sorry. I oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, so you're gonna go for a hike somewhere, right? <laughs> and then you're gonna find a physical hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. So it could be something that like an animal dug. And Preferably then, like a squirrel or chipmunk yeah, or something. Something that just you feel attached to and you're like, this is it right here. This is how I wanna enter my journey world. Mm -hmm. You remember that in your head. So then after the hole, we tell you to make an all natural rattle. I know you probably have a lot of questions, right? Too bad. <laughs> go make it that's it that's all you did that's all you get so for uh, example so actually different traditions are different so if oh, you studied okay. shamanism in another tradition they might not require you to do this so um, this is the mohawk this is mohawk uh tribe the uh traditions sorry i can't think at the same time um now so you have to make a rattle out of natural things yes so a rattle, just think of a baby rattle, you're shaking this thing, mm -hmm. and it just, yeah. So, um, for example, I have this little, I think it's a hollowed out coconut. I just remembered I had it at my mom's house somewhere, and I was like, that's what I need. And it was like this wooden little hollowed out coconut that like lifts up, you can like, and then you can put stuff in it. Um, so I put in like little crystals, or you can put rice. Um, I put like quartz chips. Yeah, I put in quartz and amethyst in mine now. Um, and then he had an ostrich egg? Ostrich egg. Okay. I had an ostrich egg, but I I have since that. destroyed my rattle. I have to create a new one. Yeah. So in the rattles, you can replace, but there's another important thing that you can't replace, right? Yes. Okay. The blanket. All natural blanket. So it can't just be like something you order off Amazon. It you would need be to make sure it's 100% cotton. It would be preferable if you made it, but you You or someone you love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't make mine. I, I didn't make, mine. make a blanket. But mine was but passed down in my family for yeah. a long time. Like it was my oh, great okay. great grandmother's blanket. So I'm like, that's good. And the I'll important thing about your blanket, nobody else can touch it. Unless you're unless getting you, named. Or no, you're getting confirmed on your power yes, animal. Which we'll talk about good, that down the road. It's good if they don't touch it, but We've actually since found out it's actually not a big deal. Oh, really? Yeah, believe okay. it or not. Yeah, well, I forgot to tell you that, actually. Oh, <laughs> things change. Well, um, from what I remember, you're not supposed to touch somebody else's blanket, vice versa. So, this journey world that we go into... Hi, Hello, Gretchen. Gretchen. This journey world that we go into, it is the inner world. There are two other journey worlds. The in-between and the upper. I'm not going to talk about those today. I'm only going to, we are not going to talk about those today, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, we're just going to talk about lower world journeys. In this lower world journey, when you go through the hole, if you see sharp teeth or insects or anything creepy like lizards, leave. Leave through the hole and go back in. So when you lay down on your blanket, there's going to be someone drumming at 120 beats per second. This drumming is known as shamanic drumming. It changes the brain waves. Mm -hmm. in you to be able to perceive something different to be able to understand something different then while you're going to your hole so you this is why you need to learn how to astral project too is that you astral project to the hole that you found yeah so then you jump in just to kind of like backtrack a little bit so um because i know we had a couple people join so the hole is the hole that you found in the ground outside physically. Mm -hmm. So let's say I walked in the woods, I found this like chipmunk hole and in my head, I'm like, okay, that is my entrance to my journey world. So then later on when you're somewhere else, whatever, you're doing your journey, um, when you close your eyes and you go into your journey, that hole you visualize in your head and then that is your entrance to your journey mm -hmm. world. Then so when the, when the drums start that Andrew's talking about, that is when you would go inside. And when you go in, you're going to most likely, for most of us, we uh, get to a cave. Some of us that have a lot of self-doubt notice that there's a veil and we can't get through the cave. So you have to fight your way through. You have to find the light. You have to get through the cave, figure it out. 
and sometimes it takes multiple journeys for you to get through that cave. I then don't picture a cave with, my, with mine. What's up? I don't picture a cave with mine. Oh, you don't have to. Yeah. That's the thing. That's I why I said drop. a lot of us. <laughs> so some of you, some of you can just drop. Some of you just show up. Now here's the thing. Um, if you happen to have the cave and you happen to not get through, it's your self doubt. You'll get through. This is the world where we retrieve medicine for people, where we w retrieve medicine for ourselves. And when you talk about medicine, it's more messages. Messages and, and it knowing could be how, items. how to help people. It could be like let's items, say though. you know lavender is what's gonna heal or help yeah. this person. Yeah, you might find that yourself in a lavender field in your journey world. Exactly. You might but be given, okay, then the you big, meet power animals. The big thing with the medicine okay. is, is that it could be uh, an item in that world where you bring back with yourself and if you, you have to blow it into the heart and mind of the person in this world. So it's not always just a message. It's not always just, oh, this is what you need to do for herbs. It could literally be a thing spiritually that you need to blow into their heart and mind. Um, this is also the place where you meet your power animals, too. Two of them. You get one first, you work with that one. You get your second one later. Now, the first one... And you can you get know, more than two, correct? Not in this tradition. Not in this tradition. At, at least not so okay. far. From what we know, at least we from have what we two. know, we have two. Okay. Um, we might be wrong. We still, we're, we still learn as time goes. Uh, we're not entirely sure, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, as time goes. So, um, then, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, when you meet your power animal, it has to show you all four sides. When it shows you all four sides, then you're ready. Then you know this is it. When he says all four sides, he literally all four too, too sides much. of his body. Right, oh, I was going to say, I don't want to elaborate too, too much. Well, okay. The, uh, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, only, only because, like, that's the thing, is that, like, I don't want to give too, too much away. Oh, yeah. If I give it all true. away, then... You know, you have to make sure you do do all of this with a shaman. Mm -hmm. It's not just you do it at home. So I don't want to elaborate too, too much. Yeah, that's um, true. So, you find somebody um, the, with this as well, is that the name you get from your power animal, you never give out. You can tell people what they are. It's not really a big deal. But the name that you get for them, you never give to anyone. I don't even care if it's your kid, your husband, your girlfriend, your mom, your whatever. I do not care who it is you do not give it out um, and then you dance with them you dance with them and that's the point of the rattle when you come back you dance around your blanket you dance around the fire with them and that's uh, the power animals yeah yeah like I said I don't want to elaborate too too much okay but um, yeah won't get into it now healing work I want you to talk about the healing work oh no, I'm Why? <laughs> the healing work is the hard part, but is it? It's it's really great. Doing doing the healing work on yourself first. Well, yeah, I mean that, yeah, but but I'm talking about actual like when at the end of class. Oh, stuff, yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. The healing work he's talking about. So at the end, it's very similar to Reiki. Um, so everyone in the group, we all get together, we all gather, and um, one person at a time will lay down on a table, a massage table, um, and then we all stand around them and we do energy work on each other. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to be Reiki certified for this. No, because yeah. Reiki's, that's what's the difference between this and Reiki. Reiki has certain rules and certain things that I know of from people who are in Reiki. Uh, that I know, but mm -hmm. we we just this is our tradition. Yeah. This is just what we do. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So yeah, it's just a part of it. So uh, we share energy, we work with each other, um, and yeah. No, I mean, like, there's so much to shamanism yeah. that it's hard to talk about in one night. So it is. in all honesty, if anyone here has any questions, you know where to find us. Mm -hmm. We're at Funky Stuff, right? Um, Please, if you have any questions, please ask because there are things that we might not go over that if you ask it, we're like, oh crap, yeah, I forgot about that, mm -hmm. you know? So, if you do have any questions, please ask. Yeah. As shamans, we do a lot of things. Um, like I said earlier in the night, we do soul, oh, so soul retrieval to answer Lisa's question. Um, I've only done it once. 
what my experience was. I was meditating with the person in the room. The only thing I saw was like a, like a bright path leading me towards where this person's soul was. So in my astral projection state, in my astral state, I'm going, I'm following this path. I'm just going, 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 going. Until I'm not, it's seemingly not on earth, even though I wasn't like leaving, going into space or anything. It's just, it didn't seem like earth, but you're also in the spirit realm too. So you're trying to find the soul. You can think of it as if anyone ever saw The Conjuring, when uh, the dude, or is it Insidious? I think it's Insidious, where uh, the dad is trying to get his son back from the spirit world. It oh, was basically okay. that. They, they got a lot of stuff in that movie, which is interesting. Um, hmm. But I um, you have to go, and this person, the part of their soul that was missing was actually their inner child. So I had to go, I was like, oh crap. You know, like it's, hard, it's harder to talk to a kid because if it was an adult, I'd be like, yo, Come on, let's go. But with a kid, you're gonna be you're gonna be nice. It, it, that's the thing. And like in the spirit world, talking to that person's inner child, I had to be like, I know you don't know me. I know you don't know this, but this is what's happening. I need you to be able to trust me. I need you to come with me. It's like you're convincing them that you need them to go with you. And once once the kid, his kid, in his inner self, held my hand. It's like he turned into a light and went into my chest. And then when I came back into this world, I was blowing it into his heart and mind and I could feel a heaviness go through my chest and out through my breath. It, it, it was wild. It was wild. That, that is the only soul retrieval I've ever done. But immediately after, this person was more lively, more back to themselves, more or less down in the dumps. I don't know why, but that whole thing that you're just talking about made me remember the worms. Oh yeah, we were. <laughs> Megan found out about tapeworms earlier, so uh, she's been pretty grossed out. <laughs> Awful. Um, but yeah, no. So before we get into the crystals of it, yeah, is there anything you want to add to the shamanism? Things you've done, things we've done that I'm not remembering. I'm I guess sure I, stuff. I, I, sure I do just want to like add in the the point that we just really help each other. Yeah. Like once you're in this group together, the amount of trust and faith that you have in your friends in the group is just it, like, Andrew, you're very special to me. Like yeah. I, I have mm-hmm. very close friends, but like, and I mean, yes, you're very, one of my very close friends, but talking to Andrew and getting advice from him is so much different from talking to and getting advice from my other friends. Not that their advice and talking to them is wrong or bad at all. Like I love talking to them, whatever, but like Andrew really puts things into perspective and he is in a way that like, okay, this is constructive criticism. It's going to help you. Like, it, he's just here to teach and to help. And then I'll Likewise. do the same thing for him. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened today. Yeah, he's we helping were, uh, me in the morning. And I'm helping him in the afternoon. Yeah. We just really help each other. And in that process, then we're able to help others. And Well, that's the thing is that, like, yeah. I was going to put it like this, too, is that you and everyone else in our group, you're family to me. You're not just yeah. friends. It's like, these people are my family where if something happens, it's the same feeling you get if something happens to your brother, sister, cousin, parent. That is true. It's, it's that we feeling. We stand by each other. That's what it is. And it, you know, there's a lot of times where people would be like, yeah, you're like my family. It's like, no, these people are my family. I don't know how else to describe it besides <laughs> that, yeah. Oh no, she's gonna start tearing up. <laughs> but, but, but I am so um, grateful for yeah. my for this family that I literally could cry. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, our Thursday nights because we get together every Thursday night. I that is what I look forward to every week. I know, and that if you end, end up going on this trip, you gotta Facetime me in. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. I, I know we keep forgetting to Facetime her when she's away, and she's just like, "You so forgot weird. again," and we're just like, "Yeah." <laughs> Which is like because it's, we it's different than in person. Yeah, no, it is very. But again, who knows if I'm leaving or not? We'll see. It's true. <laughs> and then if you do, we're still just gonna do the fires at your house, anyways. I'm I just know. Gonna show yep. up, so. Exactly. They're taking over my house when I'm gone. <laughs> but um, like I said, there is a lifetime 
times a thousand to understand about shamanism. So um, yeah. I'm sorry we can't all do it in a, an hour. I know. Yeah, tonight. we're going to get into the crystals but shortly we do here. We're going to get into the crystals here. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, message us. Ask for Andrew or Meg. Yes, We'll please. be more than happy to answer that. And now that we've Talk revealed ourselves on national this. television. I know. <laughs> we've, uh, we, um, in all honesty, if you have questions or if you do need help with anything and you feel like we can help you, we're more than happy to give it our best shot. Um, I don't know what it would be, but, and I'm not saying we're the end all be all, you might already have help and that's great. That's awesome. But we are here and if you ever need help or if you need someone to talk to, or if you have questions about this or you're curious about this or anything like that, just ask. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Just ask. We'll be more than happy to give it our best shot. <laughs> so, yeah. Now on to some crystals. Yeah. <laughs> What's so, so, like the I was saying we're earlier. All looking forward to. What? Nothing. Oh, I thought you said I'll be right back. No. Um, I was like, we're just starting the crystals. <laughs> so, um, the two crystals that we use the most, I said in a. Uh, um, before we had to go offline is um, clear quartz and smoky quartz and to build off of the healing work if we do happen to use crystals in our practice like I'm more nature I'm more trees and animals and earth mm -hmm. um, that's what I work best with while some of us like I said works best with humans works best best with just animals works on dreams works on this we're all over the place when it comes to this stuff because we have our supplemental things too like I'm a pagan I will say it through and through. I'm a pagan. Uh, but that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with my shamanism. In this tradition, in other people's shamanic traditions, yes, they happen to leak in. The, um, it can become a little bit more seemingly religious. Um, possibly, too. That's another thing. I know this tradition. I don't know anyone else's tradition. So... That's why I'm always curious to hear about other people's shamanic practices. Because when people say I'm a shaman, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> or like, or you know, if people say like I'm studying shamanism, I'm like, ooh. Because I need to, I need to know, I wanna know. I wanna know, I'm curious, like what do you do? And there's always a lot of similarities, of course, but I'm like, I, I want to know what's different. I, I, it's awesome to know what's similar and we can bond over that. But I want to know what's different, I'm curious. I, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it because we're all doing the same thing in different ways and we're all having an, a, a good, it's, it's a good experience. It's a great experience. So, um, with, uh, ba -ba -ba. uh, what was I talking about? Oh, with the crystals. Um, then, uh, we use clear quartz to bring in the positive energy in our healing work. And we use smoky quartz to drown it out. You put the smoky quartz at your feet. Oh, oh my God, something I forgot to say with um, journeying. Yeah, oh. what? You put the candle at the end of the blanket and you face towards east with your feet. There we go. Add that in the notes. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not talking about the whole thing again. So um, you can come into the store if you have questions. <laughs> so, so clear quartz brings in the good energy. Smoky quartz goes, brings out the bad energy. So, we've got some nice crystals. Yes, for let's go. Let's get started. We're going to start with the smoky quartz. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't open up the thing. Okay, um, Andrew has to open up the thing. Oh, man. Ugh, Andrew. Give me two seconds here. I'm a quick <laughs> typer without typos. Right. Um, so, yeah, we'll start with the, the smoky quartz. It's at the root. And then we'll it's end the, with the, <laughs> the root. You're like, smoky quartz, it's at the root. <laughs> <laughs> You get crystal quartz, crystal quartz. Oh my god. Crystal quartz. Oh man. Except, uh, as opposed to what? As opposed to that uh, material quartz or thread oh quartz. God. I don't know. I'm making terrible jokes now. That's quartz, insane. quartz, clear quartz, clear quartz. <laughs> as opposed to crystal quartz. Oh my god. We have non-crystal quartz. No. Big sphere. Smoky. <laughs> that, Here's what, the big sphere. It's called big sphere. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't do these today. She did. <laughs> Big sphere. Keeping it simple, okay? <laughs> How, what else am I supposed to say? We have two spheres. One's big, one's small. <laughs> big sphere, small smear. Smear. Sphere. Smear. 
Anyways, okay, <laughs> we're gonna get into the crystals. Um, again, if you are new here, all of the crystals that we're showing tonight are 20% off. With on a our giveaway? Lives. Oh, well, hold on, oh. I'm explaining this first. Don't get ahead of yourself. All of the crystals are 20% off until 24 hours from now, right? That's how it is. Okay, so 24%. if you're watching the replay of this live stream because you missed it, replay. as long as it's within 24 hours that this was posted, you can still claim these crystals. So we're going to name, so this is Big Sphere, Big Smoky Quartz Sphere number one. So you can type in quartz uh smoky quartz say, sphere number one you could even say crystal number one yeah crystal number we have one. them all yeah, labeled exactly too, so. so we have 30 crystals to show you between the smoky and the clear um can i say can i say can i say it? okay hold on <laughs> one through 30 smoky and clear okay so just say i want number one i want number two whatever um if you don't remember the number but you're like okay there is that big <laughs> smoky quartz sphere and i want that there we go you can just say that we'll figure it out Okay, now Andrew can talk about the it. giveaway. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. So, <clears throat> here, can you put it under the crystal? So we'll put cam? this under here. Oh wait, so, Sarah. When I started learning about pagans, I started learning about Native American. Okay, hold on. Let's just. Let's you wanted to talk point. about this so bad. Can I know. Sorry, I have. Sorry, I, I get distracted. Okay, easy. Andrew wanted to. This show is the giveaway. Away. This is a giveaway. So how our giveaways work is, if you comment at any time during your during this live stream, <laughs> we will enter your name into this wheel and we'll spin it at the end of the live stream. And if it lands on your name, you win this <laughs> Colombian. <the> <laughs> Okay, uh, very beautiful. Hey, Karen, okay. nice and to see you And now, Andrew, you can get on to what you were trying I, to do. I was just about. reading what Sarah said. They both made sense to me. I love Oops. both because they accept everyone and mean it. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I like that. Agreed. And that is so true. That is so true. Because let me tell you, we were in pretty dark places when we started, and we were fully yeah. accepted as we are mm -hmm. and who we were at the time. Andrew is such a Gemini. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you are. But why? <laughs> Wait for what, what I do. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> you know what? It's good to see you too. People say that to me all the time. I think I brought it up in the last couple streams where I'm just like, people always are like, you are definitely a Gemini. I'm like, I don't know what I did. I mean, I, even I, I understand it may not be a bad thing, but it's like. Do you, do you think that I'm my sign? Do you think that about me or no? Yeah. 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 You got all that Taurus energy inside of you. Yeah. All the bull energy. Anyways, let's get to these beautiful crystals. So this sphere. This is amazing. Is amazing. Okay. It's going to be sixty-four dollars. So it's originally eighty. So you're getting a really good deal on this. If it focuses. You're only getting a good deal if it focuses. <laughs> if it doesn't focus, it's the same price. No, I'm joking. <laughs> That was a pretty stupid joke. Yeah, what's going on here? Tom's oh. helping out with oh. helping out uh, oh. helping us out right oh. now. It was it was talk. close to there. It was getting there. What's what's going on? Oh. oh oh. Not a bad thing. I'm Gemini, so my mind is all over. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, true. Hey, oh yeah, no. Like I was saying, like uh, oh, there we go. I understand okay, it might focused. not be a bad thing, but so, I always feel like I'm adhering to the Gemini. Oh. This is the big <laughs> smoky squirt sphere. Um, so this will be number one. It has Rudal in it too. I was just gonna say that. You see Wasn't those little black oh, lines running through it. That is Rudalization or whatever. <laughs> it's Rudalized. It even has like a little bit of um, like a goldeny. Got a root line. Like, like in there. It also has rainbows. There we go. You see one rainbow right there. So this is a beautiful sphere. I know it's a little foggy on the screen, a little unfocused. It's pretty hot today. The cameras are having a tough time. Is that a thing? No, when I was joking. Oh, I was okay. like, the cameras are sweating. I was going to say, I'm, I mean, I'm having a tough time, but <laughs> not nearly as bad as the sweat lodge. Actually, if I think of that, then I'm going to be cold right now. Yeah. If I, if See, I was I'll happily compare. go into a sauna any day. <laughs> So yeah, you got the beautiful rainbows over here on the sphere. You got the rutilize right here. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a beautiful piece. Originally eighty, and you're gonna get it for sixty four. Sixty four. All right, and then but we're yes, gonna go to the small Lisa, sphere. Lisa, absolutely, I feel the pain. I cannot keep my mind on track. 
unless I'm intently focusing on something. So this is really beautiful. Um, I want to. Can I have the little <coughs> clear quartz because I want to compare it? Because this almost looks like clear quartz, but I want to show you that it has like a tint. Like it, it's not super noticeable, but it has a little bit of a smoky tint to it compared to the clear one. So, and this one also has little tiny rainbows inside. So this tiny one is going to be sixteen dollars. So sixteen tiny on this one. Rainbow. This is number two. Now we'll go into these little little towers we have here. These are beautiful. Those really are. It's pretty. not often that you see like a smoky quartz this clear. I love towers like these too. Even though they're polished at the top, they're just absolutely amazing. So this is number three. For twelve dollars. Only twelve dollars for this. This is beautiful. yeah. Come on, it's only twelve bucks. It's, yeah, you know. come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to show two more, and they are all going to be twelve dollars. So only twelve dollars. Yes, only twelve dollars. This one's super. This is nice. number four, and it is beautiful look at that come on twelve dollars for this thing like my lunch costs more than i'm $12. telling you yeah exactly lunch costs more than that you're yeah. gonna go somewhere and you're gonna find something like this and it's gonna be like 60 bucks and you're gonna be like why didn't i claim that one for twelve dollars on the screen on the live stream <laughs> <laughs> just being honest <laughs> why why <laughs> so yeah beautiful 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 um this is number four. Ooh. Number five. This one's a little shorter. <laughs> Don't make fun of the lad. <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful in his own right. Yes, he is. He's still <laughs> handsome. <laughs> and it has a little rainbow back here. Would you look at that? Yeah, see? Short well, doesn't yes. mean bad. Yeah, see, this one's special. I only say that because I'm kind of short as a person. <laughs> really? I don't know. I don't I'm think like you're that short. five eight, five seven. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I so don't know this is that. number five. Also twelve dollars. Nice. Okay, now we have this big. Yeah, guy. the biggest thing in existence. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one is originally two twenty five. So you get it for a hundred and eighty dollars. Show it down here. <laughs> it takes up all of the crystal cam. There's like a cool like separation almost like right there. I know I can't even show the whole thing under here, but it is beautiful. So how much did you say this was? 160? 180. 180, okay. 180 for this. Okay, now we're gonna go into some clusters here. So, oh, this has the sparkle. Oh, boy. You know I love the sparkles. Number four. Number four. Number okay. four. Which one's number four? This, is this one right four? there. Okay. All right. Uh, to Lisa. Lisa, congrats. This is a really nice one. Okay. So, here is a cluster. So, you got some sparkle in there. This would be a really nice decoration. It's originally 50, which means it's going to be 40. Yep. Okay. Claim number three. All right. All right. There Going you go, Sarah. To Sarah, congrats. Also a very nice one. Okay. So this is number seven for $40. And then one more cluster here. This one is pretty neat. It has these like shapes. Oh, this is like, it grows in a tabular formation. So it's actually flattened crystals, which is pretty cool. And it, um, it, it has, uh, I don't think it would be considered zoning. Uh, can I see it again? Which one? I think Lisa's talking about the one that she claimed. Oh, number four? Yes. Yeah. Uh, All right, so this is the one that you claimed, Lisa. All right, so this one's 40, so it's going to be 32, am I correct? Yes. Okay, so 32 for this this piece. Um, 
think. Yeah. No problem, Lisa. All right. And that is number eight. So number eight, 32. Now we're going to get into a couple points here. And we have multiples of these points for $5. Yeah, so uh, we have a whole bunch of these. Multiple people can claim them. I picked out two of my favorites earlier. Look how so dark they are. These are only $4, guys. $4 for this point. She'll like both point. of them at the same time. Um, so these are really great to do um, energy work with. Making grids, even? Yes. Yeah. Definitely um, energy work. I, mean, I say energy work because these are very easy to just place at the bottom of the feet on the table. Yeah. Uh, that's what I do when I'm doing my sessions at the spa. What? What? I don't know what that has to go with, to be honest. <laughs> All right. So anyways, this one is number nine for this smoky quartz point here. And then number 10. Um, and again, we have multiple of these, so multiple people can claim these. But you can claim these. And $4 if a piece. If people have claimed 9 and 10, just say, I want one of the $4 smoky quartz points, and then we'll know what you're saying. Yes. Now, we have a heart. We have multiple of these as well in the shop. And this one so will be $10. Multiple claims. Uh, $9. All right, nine. Okay, nine dollars for this heart. Originally twelve. So again, we have multiple smoking quartz hearts. If you want to claim one, <laughs> number eleven. Number twelve is a palm stone. Um, we have several different kinds of smoky quartz palm stones as well. This is one of the clearer ones we have, and then we have some that are kind of like. Um, like the uh, same look as the heart. So this palm stone in particular is only going to be eight dollars. Okay, and then we have this beautiful little angel. <laughs> this little praying angel right here. This is a great for a little gift, I think. Um, so this is going to be $8. Oh my gosh, can I share a little story real quick? Go for it. Okay, I'm pausing because I like sharing my stories. Um, my stories that prove that spirit is exists. <laughs> um, so when I was in high school, I went on some work camps um, through a church that I was a part of. And we would get sent somewhere um, this particular time, I think I was in West Virginia, but we go to a town and there are people that sign up um, that they need work done around their house and they cannot afford a professional to do it. So we volunteer to do it. So, uh, oh, and Sarah wants number nine. Number nine. Number nine, this one right here. All right. So, um, Anyways, I was assigned, I, we go down there, we all stay in a high school on blow up beds and we wake up or very early in the morning and we go to, we get um, paired up with a group of people from, there. each person is from a different group. So we come from all over. Um, and so you don't know anybody in your, in your work group. Number seven. Okay. Which one's number seven? This one right here. All right. Ooh, beautiful. Um, you don't know anyone in your work crew um, until that first day is when you meet them. And then you get assigned a home. So we got assigned a home, and this woman is an amazing woman. She was so sweet. She was elderly. She lived by herself. Um, and I was assigned to her. I was going through a really tough time that summer. And let me tell you, roses are my sign that I am safe. I am protected. Like my guides and my angels and whoever is with me. So I get to her house, walk in, roses everywhere. Um, so I took it out as a sign, okay, I'm meant to be here, I'm meant to be with this crew, like, you know, let's see what comes out of this kind of thing. But anyway, so this one day I was painting and then I tripped and I accidentally like hit the wall with my hand trying to like catch myself. And we looked at it, and or I didn't even notice it, but one of my members in the work crew looked, and it, it's an angel. 
Like literally somehow when I hit the wall, it made a perfect angel and it almost kind of looks like this, but it was just incredible. Like it, there was no imperfections whatsoever. It just was a straight up angel. Like someone took an angel stamp and stamped it onto the wall in the wet paint, I swear. And so the owner of the house was like, oh my God, don't paint over it, keep it. We need the angel there, whatever. But I don't know, it was just a sign. I, <laughs> it was just a special experience for me and I had to share that. It was just beautiful. It is beautiful. Yes, it's I like felt Meg's very- Meg's stamping angels everywhere. <laughs> you need her to come to your house and put a hole? So not only did the roses give me a sign, but that angel did too, for not just me, but my work crew and the owner of the house. And it was just, it was a really beautiful experience and I will never forget that. But anyway, so the angel we have is only $8, number 13. We have multiple of these as well. So multiple people can claim the angels. Okay. 13, 14 is a bracelet. Multiples so of these two. $9 for this, originally 12. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, multiple people can claim this. I I love these beads because of how like clear they are. They are super nice, yeah. and they all look like that. Yeah, all the bracelets look like this. Yeah, there's not like one smoky quartz bracelet we have that like has like a milkyish smoky to it. There we go. All right. So number fourteen, eight dollars. Multiple people can claim. Uh, and then 15, so this is the last of our smoky quartz, is just a keychain. So. And we have a ton of these. Yeah, we too. have a ton of these too. This so will only four be $4. Bucks. All right. And there we go. So that concludes our smoky quartz. If you guys want to see anything again, let us know. And on to the clear quartz. On so to the clear quartz. Big sphere. Big, big sphere. <laughs> yeah, it's like big in comparison it's, it's to small, the next but one. Big. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they also come with these little cute wooden stands, just so you guys know. So this is gonna be twenty-four. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, originally thirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I picked heat, this one because of this right here. I love that. There is a tiny rainbow right in there. We can see it. So 24 for this quartz sphere. And the focus. It must be this weather. I think you're right, Andrew. You're on to something here. <laughs> the heat's <laughs> affecting the cameras. <laughs> Okay, moving on. All right, tiny sphere. This one is very tiny, it's very cute. <laughs> oh. Actually, it looks cool <laughs> when I hold it up. Ooh. Okay. So our tiny little sphere here is $9. Nine bucks for Look this. Look how beautiful this is. $9 for this. And this is gonna be number 17. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a couple towers for you guys. This one's going to be 28. So 28 for this guy. I love clear quartz. Nothing is better than clear quartz. If you had to tell me to pick one crystal and I could only have that one crystal for the rest clear of my quartz. life. Clear quartz. It's just... Ooh, I don't know. It's a tie for me between this and fluorite. Oh, really? Oh, fluorite's so pretty. It is. It is, but clear quartz. There's nothing that will beat clear quartz. It is just it's the omega. <laughs> so I think this has like a tiny bit of... Does it gold in it? Or is that just the camera? No, it has like a yeah, tiny bit of gold bit in of, it, yeah. too. The gold would be the golden healer. Like right in there. Okay, and this was number 18. Yep, and that's uh, $28. 28. On to the next piece. <laughs> Apparently this is the next piece. You can uh, have this little piece of paper here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this big tower. Okay, big tower, let's go. Yes, April, fluoride is amazing. <laughs> How much is this? 
Uh, $60. Okay. 60 Ooh, Kumbaba Jasper is really good, too. And this is number 19. Okay. <laughs> it says point. So now we're getting into a little, <laughs> little point here. Um, it kind of is pointed on both sides in a way. Oh, yeah. But, a little yeah. bit, yeah. So I just love how clear this is. It's so pretty. This is going to be $24 for this mm -hmm. quartz point. And this is number... The numbers off of it, Andrew. Oh, uh, it's number 20. Oh, okay. Number 20 for this guy. Uh -huh. Number 20 for this guy. 24 for this number 20. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Number 20. <laughs> this one. It's 24. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, gosh. 20 for oh, this gosh. 24. 24 for this 20. Okay. Now for our hearts. A I faceted love heart. This. These are super cool. Oh, my cool. gosh. These are my favorite this things in the store. Absolutely beautiful. Honestly. They're. Like they are a faceted me quartz heart. Mesmerizing. This and they is have going little to rainbows be, too. This one's going to be Look 96 Look how beautiful this is. 96 for this heart. This beautiful heart right here. This is just so good to meditate with. Absolutely stunning. And you might not be able to see, but there are tiny little rainbows in there. Somewhere. And it is fascinating. Like up here, you can see a little bit. Yeah, so they are beautiful. So this is 96 for number 21. And then we have a smaller one. For which, $24. 24 for this guy. I'm gonna take this little sticker off in the back, just see it better. So this is 22, and this is only $24. So beautiful. Okay. There you go. Now this cluster is going to be sixteen dollars. I love this cluster. This is like my favorite one. I had to Wait, put it really? up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just so like aesthetically like pleasing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, it I goes from like it. small to like big. Yeah, and it just it stands up on its own, just like that. I would laugh if it fell over. <laughs> <laughs> it stands up on its own. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this piece so much. Look at that. So that is going to be 16. Yes. Ooh. Oh, so, sorry. I'm like discovering things. Oh, it's other okay. things are happening. The big guy. The big guy. The big cluster here. Is that golden healer in the cluster? It kind of looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, because of the iron oxides, yeah. And there's some in this as well. Um, so this is number 24. It's originally 90. And what's the sale price on this guy? 72. 72. Look at this. Yes, Teresa. I it's believe beautiful. that is golden healer in here. Okay. So you can get this beautiful cluster. It stands up on its own as well. Great for decoration. How much did you say? 72. 72. There we go. And that is, again, number 24. There you go. And now for the ultimate decoration. Oh, you can't really see. There's a tea light in here. You'll see under here. Tea light holder. Who doesn't like these? We have multiple of these. Comes with the tea light. Yes, we will include a tea light. Um, this is 16. number 25 for $16 if you want this. Imagine you're taking a amazing Epsom salt bath, you know, put some bubbles in always there. Always going to the bath. Uh, always, always. <laughs> like, I'm all about oh, pampering myself, Like, okay? always the bath. <laughs> like, imagine, like... You go when into I go subway, into the bathroom, see that sandwich. It's imagine just, taking a bath. I go into <laughs> goddess mode in my bathroom. I close that door and I'm like, ah, I listen. Here we go. Putting it's just on amazing. my face mask. I'm, I, I, well, I'm I, an esthetician too, so I'm all about skincare. Okay. So, it's just like, I so I put on my face mask. You know, put my hair mask in. I just feel like it's bath. everything, though. It's just see this who microphone. I am. Imagine taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, this is a nice addition to your god's bath, okay? To your bath. Don't put it in the bath, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, $20 for this. Oh, no, it's, uh, 16. $16 for this, my bad. <laughs> it's number 25. There you go. A big angel. Okay, another angel, angel we have. This one's a little bit bigger, different shape. Um, this one is number 26. You're going to get it for $24. This is an amazing gift, and I want to say in the back the wings look like a heart, and I love that. So, all right, we got a and couple then, different types yeah, of pendants now here. we have some jewelry. So all of our pendants will come with a black leather cord, just so you guys know. Um, trying to take the stickers off the back. Okay, I got most of that one. So this is only eight dollars for this teardrop pendant. Um, this is number 27. We do have multiple of these, so multiple people can claim these. So they're clear, they're beautiful. So again, $8. I'll just kind of like hold it up. If you can kind of see, like, that's what it'll look like. <laughs> we also sell sterling silver chains too, if you'd like yes. one of those instead of a black leather one. Let us know. Um, Here's another pendant. Multiple people can claim these as well. It's just a simple wire wrap. So this will on, this will only be eight dollars as well. And this is number twenty eight. Try to get it to focus here. There we go. Twenty eight for eight dollars. Now, two, for the last two things, it's a couple different types of bracelets. Yeah. So, I'll put them side by side. So, this one, this beaded one is going to be $9. This is number 29. 29 for 9. All right. 23, 23 for Lisa. And then this one, the chip one, will only be $4. So, this is number 30. And again, with the bracelets, multiple nope. people can claim these as well. So. There we go. So that concludes all of our crystal sales. If you want to see anything in a, again, let us know. And um, again, I wanted to say as well, uh, of course, thank you all for being here and like listening yes, to us thank talk. thank you. I'm very glad um, that I was able to be here yeah. today. Yeah. You know. Kind of a, I thought I would be gone two months ago, but I'm still here, but that's okay. A-okay, because I can be here tonight. And I might be here next Monday too, who knows, we'll see. <laughs> oh, Teresa, on the uh, bracelet, it's a eight millimeter. Um, Catherine, no she worries, said Catherine. she's late. That's okay, you can watch the replay. Yes. And since you commented, you can still be entered into our giveaway. Which. Um, and again, sorry we can't talk about everything in shamanism. It, it takes a very long time. It would take me some yeah. years some years to explain everything to you. Um, so. And you want to be in class. Like, you don't want to just like hear everything from us yeah. like, just on a live stream. And you want to like, be in class and really learn it. If you're curious about learning it, I implore you to find a shaman mm -hmm. if you're curious. Yeah. Whatever tradition they may be in. Um, yeah, you look for a shaman. So, yeah. So we will be doing this giveaway. It's going to be. Uh, Tom has left us. Yeah, Tom has left us for a second here. But <laughs> um, we will show you on the crystal cam in just a second. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a beautiful Colombian quartz. And with our giveaways, as long as you have commented at any time during the stream, your name has automatically been entered into our wheel that we will spin very shortly. And if it lands on your name, you win this guy. Um, and we will message you and let you know. Oh yeah. All right. So if you're interested, comment if you haven't yet, and we will put you in. Well, so. this has been a very nice stream, Andrew. What's up? We're gonna pick a name this time. Oh, we're gonna pick a name this time? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I guess oh, we're not cool. doing the wheel anymore. We get to just, ooh. Or at least not this time. We're doing a, uh, what's up? We're still doing the giveaway. But it's, uh, just uh, picking the name. Picking right? it out yeah. of like a box? 
Okay. So we're gonna. Pick Tom's them. writing them, writing your names down right now. Hi, Evie. Yes, definitely watch the replay. This has been a really good stream. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I enjoy doing Talking this with you, shamanism. Andrew. Even yeah. though you know we're sweating right now and this. Yeah, uh, it's a little warm. Sweat a lot. <laughs> oh. Micheline, thanks for I another need smoky show. Quartz I think Angel I need and one of the points. Okay, um, are you talking about one of the Smoky Quartz points? I assume one of these. We'll give you number 10, Micheline, if that's the case. And the Angel. So, Micheline, you want these two, just to confirm? Yes, okay. All right. So, so we'll me... put these aside for you. Thank you. That's okay, Teresa. You commented. Um, we'll put you in the wheel. Uh, if you watch the replay and there's anything that you want that hasn't been claimed yet, or if there's something that you know we have multiple of, you have 24 hours to claim an item. So. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, did you show the large tower? Yes. 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 Yes, we did. This large tower is for. One hundred and eighty dollars. One eighty originally, two twenty-five. That is a really good deal for this guy. <laughs> is everyone All in set. there? All right. All right. So we're Ooh, gonna pick a name. Can oh, can you show <laughs> twenty-two chords hard again? Number twenty-two. Is this number twenty-two? Oh no. Here's the thing. That's yes. Yeah. Okay. 22. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Height and width of the large tower. Uh, I do not have the height and width of this. We but can message you I do you know after. this is about... Yes, we can yeah. message you we'll, after. We'll message it when the stream's over. Yes, um, with the height and width on that. Yeah. I believe it's actually a foot because my forearm is a foot. Oh, okay. So it's about 12 and a half to 13 inches approximately. Okay. And the width is about approximately two inches by approximately two inches because it's slightly oval. All right, we're gonna pull the name. Bum, I actually bum, like this better ba, than da, da, bum, bum, All right, bum, we'll see who bum, it is. Bum. Oh, we can't look when we pick. Oh. All right, who won? All right. Who wins the Colombian courts? Do, it's do, really do, sweaty. Do, <laughs> do, 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 do. Ashley Hall. Ashley, Ashley Hall. Hall. There you go. You win the Colombian court. Congrats. Okay. That was fun. I like that better. <laughs> oh, oh, perfect. All right. See, I love all, all of you are so awesome. Instead of being like, oh, should have been me. Damn, you're congratulating the person who won. That's what I like to see. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for joining us. We love doing this. We love having you. We really enjoy talk, having these talks. Oh yeah. Yeah, it really, it makes my day. It was I'm nice to talk I, about shamanism. I'm glad I was able to do this again. We don't talk about shamanism too often. No, we don't. No, in general. We don't. So it was nice to share all of that with you and share our experience with you. Yeah. Um, something that brings a whole community together too, so yeah. yeah. And we'll see if I'm here next week. Yeah, Maybe I know so. I'll be here we'll next see. week. <laughs> um, so I will see you all next week to be determined over here, but, um, yeah, no. So thank you all. Oh, guys, sorry. I missed most of the show. Appreciate it. Totally yeah, of fine. Course, Teresa. And of course yeah. we love doing this. Can you add a Shungite bracelet to my order? <laughs> Tom, that's for you. <laughs> yeah, <your> <laughs> um, so yeah, no, any questions, like we said, any questions about the crystals, please feel free to email us. Mm -hmm. But if you have any questions about shamanism, feel free to stop by the store. We're um, both we're, on, on Mondays. We're both as on Mondays. As long as I'm here. We're um, both here on Mondays. So, yeah. I, I, I know I, I know we. Sorry. 
I can't, like I said, I can't think. Lisa can back me up. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think. So I... We're all logged into the Instagram and Facebook yes, too. Yes. So if you so, wanted to ask me um, or Andrew specific questions, be, you know, just say, Andrew absolutely. or Meg, respond to this. We have no <laughs> problem talking about shamanism too. Oh, so. I'll be there on Thursday, Lisa. I look forward to seeing you. <laughs> so, perfect. Yeah, Sarah, I know. Oh, ah, the heart. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> breaking things over here. Ah, it's good. So, <laughs> it's good. It's still, still good. Uh, it didn't touch perfect. any other crystals. Didn't touch. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> yes. Well, we hope you all have a great week. Thank you for tuning in. Let us and, know if there's any yeah. specific topics you want us to talk about. Yes, please. Always open to suggestions. Always. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, have a great week. Nice to see you guys again. And hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. But, um, but, I don't, I don't and know. And we're I'm off. Oh, yeah, you want to sing your song, Andrew? I'm so it's, it's really hot. It is hard. <laughs> it's really, we it's can't really, think anymore. Numerology. Okay. Ooh, okay. yes. Honestly, I would love to talk about honestly, that. And I can, have some great stories that revolve around numbers. We can do a Let's mixture do of week. numerology and geomancy. What is geomancy? Oh, like uh, symbols? No. Oh. It slightly involves symbols, but... Okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to give it away. All right. No one We're going to talk about this next We're gonna week. Talk Thank about you, this. Lisa. We're going to talk about this throughout the week. Thank you, Lisa. Um, host, we are Andrew, Andrew Hiss, and Meg. Meg and I, Coral, and the Kai and Cotton Adrian are the Adrian owners, and, and they are awesome, producer. and they're the best bosses Tom. ever. <laughs> Tom is the best producer ever, and then the Funky Crew, best crew ever. We're just the best. We're just, we're just <laughs> again, I don't know how to make this humble now. <laughs> just like the beginning of the show. We got, no, you know what, man? You guys make it the best. We got the best audience. Everybody here is just the best. Everybody's best. Best, best, as best. As long best, as you're best, part best, of Funky best, best, best. in whatever way you're a part of it, you're the best. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. We're out. Woo. Peace out. <laughs>